Hi everybody, I'm Rob and this is Cody. Hey Coco, say hi to the people. No, nothing. Uh, this is an inner thigh workout. One of the most common requests I get in my classes is for inner thighs. So I thought, well why don't we do a quick five minute inner thigh workout that anybody can do. And if you like this kind of thing, then maybe we'll do more. All right. So we're going to start on our side, propped up on your elbow, with your core strong, lifting away from the floor. Lifting away from the floor. So the core is going to be still engaged because, you know, why not? Uh, one leg is going to be slightly forward, the top leg is going to be behind, and this working leg is going to be really strong, flexed foot, pulled up knee, strong quads. Keep the leg turned up so the toes are pointing forward at all times. All right, I'm going to start the timer now as we pulse the leg up. And we want to be working the inner thighs, obviously, uh, when we lift the leg, but uh, make sure that you're not completely on your side, as this will hurt your back. You want to lean back onto your butt slightly, so it's not hard on your hip. Keep this um, core engaged, keep the obliques engaged. Lift this top arm, so that it kind of inspires a, uh, a lifted torso. And keep breathing evenly, try to squeeze your lower abdomen and the inner thigh to lift the leg. I think you might already be feeling this because I sure am. We have three, two, now hold it there, stay, come down to the shoulder, keep that lower leg lifted, lift your top leg, lower your bottom leg almost to the floor, and then lift it to meet the top leg. So here we are getting a little more involved in the core. If it's too much, feel free to keep that top leg down for now until you can do this video with uh, you know, all these options. And make sure you're not lowering that top leg to meet your bottom leg, because that's cheating. Another 15 seconds here. Eight. Three, two. Now hold that lower leg up, cross your top leg over, rest your head in your hand, and continue the pulse. Oh, this is not fun at all. And um, yesterday was my leg day, so I am feeling this workout. 10 seconds to go. Keep going, keep squeezing, and focus on your breathing when it gets to be a little too much or take a short rest. Three, two, now stay. Bring that lower arm forward. Uh, top leg's up, top arm is up. Both legs knitted together. And then we lift either just uh, the legs and the arm, or you can come up to a side crunch onto the elbow or to the hand. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. This is a challenging option, so feel free to keep it stay down. You can rest your head in your hand if that's too much. Four, three, two, and one. And let's go to the other side. And we start by pulsing this lower leg up. Keep the top arm high. Strong, long spine. So careful that this doesn't happen rounding your back and towards the floor. Stay lifted. Quads strong. Knee is straight. Foot is flexed. If you have any inner knee issues, if you have any um, if injured the MCL or anything, you may not want to, you know, bring the toe up towards the ceiling, but it can be a nice workout. Otherwise, keep it forward. Keep the whole inside of the leg engaged. Three, two, hold it up, bring that lower arm forward, lift your top leg, and lift that lower leg to meet the top leg. You will hear my breathing throughout this and all my videos. It's so important, especially when we're working these muscles to fatigue. So make sure you hear your breath so that it's a good cue that you haven't stopped breathing or holding your breathing or clenching the wrong muscles, like sinking into your back. Four, three, two, and one. Keep that lower leg lifted, cross the top leg, rest your head in your hand, and continue the pulse. 
Keep the legs straight and strong as you get tired. Uh, that leg may uh, begin to bend, be a little weaker. We've only got 10 seconds of these pulses. Five, four, two, hold it up, and let's come to those side crunches. And you can be just the legs, like you can bend it in if you want. Come up to the elbow, come up to the hand. Inhale, exhale. If this feels bad for the back, then just move the legs and the arm. 10 seconds. Three, two, and one. All right. And that's it. Easy peasy, right? You might like to do a little stretch here, bring the uh, soles of the feet together, bringing them in as close towards the pelvis as you like, and take the rest there. All right, great work. Let me know if you want any more inner thigh workouts, and I'll be sure to upload some more. All right, have a great day.